So I recently had a, a chatterbait skirt fall off on me. Uh, the rubber bands on those chatterbaits just aren't that great and they kind of disintegrate over time. And then it leaves me with a naked chatterbait, which I still fish, and a bunch of skirt pieces that I have to throw away. Well today I decided to keep them because I want to make my own G-Crack Q-Bomb or my OSP Dice, or I think even Ray Japan has one. Though these Japanese baits that are kind of like a little chunk with some skirt pieces hanging off and apparently they crush in the Japanese lakes. So I've wanted to try them here in Canada for a long time, but they're kind of hard to find and in all honesty, a little pricey for what they are. G-Crack also makes like a slim worm kind of Ned style one. So we're gonna try and make one of those one as well. And uh, I'll show you how I put this all together and then we're gonna go out and fish it. So you're gonna take your dinger. This is just a simple white yum dinger. Uh, as you see, it has some gray in there. I actually got this for $2.50 for a bag at Walmart in their yum kind of discount, like wrong pour bin, I guess. Um, so this is a good color. It's gonna match her white skirt pretty well. I would say like one that I've really wanted to do, and I think that if you do follow this, you should totally hop on, is a green pumpkin body with chartreuse or, or like a lighter green skirt pieces. I think that would work pretty well, but I got white skirt, so we're gonna do a white bait. So I wanna apologize if you do hear some sirens. Uh, there is, I don't know, I hope it's a false alarm, but there's some fire trucks coming down and stuff. However, I'm safe here. We're gonna cut into this. I wanna pick like a fat part of the body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it right where that egg sac kind of looking spot is, just after it. Cause it has, you know, that slit there in the dinger. And uh, scissors are the best for this. You don't wanna cut yourself. You're gonna take one chunk off and look at that. That's like a little perfect Ned size bait. So that's gonna be useful as well. And then I'll take another chunk off, you know, right there. Like I said, just at that egg sac. Okay, so there we go. Now this is the very tedious part. You're gonna wanna raid your mom's sewing drawer or you know, hop over to a Dollarama or like a fabric land or whatever you got and pull out one of these needles, these threading needles. You want one that's pretty big. Um, you know, it's skirt, so it's not as thin as thread, obviously. Maybe like an upholstery needle might be good. I don't know what type this actually is. Like I said, I raided my mom's sewing drawer and this is what I pulled out. Um, but either way, you're gonna rig the plastic not rig, we're gonna run the plastic through that hole kind of where the thread is there. Pretty straightforward stuff, about at the halfway point. And then you're just gonna start poking it through your plastic. And so yeah, pull it right through there. Take it, take it, take it, keep pulling it. That skirt's gonna come through and when you get to about this point, I'm gonna grab one end and then Pull that needle all the way through there. It's getting there, it's getting there. Sorry, of course now I'm having trouble with it. There you go, pulled it right through. Drop that needle. There's our first skirt strand into our plastic. I think this is actually how the guys at G-Crack do it. I don't think they're like a machine made thing obviously. I'm pretty sure they're hand making those baits. So I guess that kind of does help warrant the cost, of course, because this would suck to do for, you know, what, eight hours a day. But there's our first skirt piece. You're gonna do this a bunch of times. I'm not gonna make you sit there and watch me do that, but uh, we'll come back here when I have a finished product. Okay, so I took some time and I got a few done there. So this is kind of that standard dice style bait. Got another one of those done as well. This one's a little bit smaller actually. Um, but yeah, same type of thing. I just ran those skirts through. Couldn't tell you how many I did. I just kind of did a bunch until it looked full enough. And check that out. This is going to be a little Ned bait. So I'm going to throw this on like a, you know, EWG ball head jig probably right now. And uh, should be able to do pretty good with that. Yeah, just took the end of a dinger. And now I got a pretty cool looking little, I think they call it like a, uh, you know, G-Crack slim worm, floating worm, kind of that sort of thing. Either way. We're gonna go and uh, try these on the water now. Oh, there we go. What's that? It's a bass. Oh, it's crappy. Crappy on the uh, the go crack, the Q bomb. There we go. 
Check that out. Drop shot in that uh, homemade cue box. Got us a little crappy bite. A little bit of dinger. Some skirt material. Does interest some fish. So one fish on the uh, Ghetto Crack q -bomb homemade DIY lure and it's now gone. I've lost everything but my hook snagged up there, but hey, we proved a fish will bite it. So I think that's a win. Thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and uh, tight lines.